at the bottom here. We're at the bottom here. After a while, there's so many bottoms, everybody's broke. How are you going to buy the bottom if you've already bought all the fake bottoms? All the market manipulated traps. These are all setups. There's been no point of any of these last three drops so far that would tell me that anything other than a continuation of the downside is going to happen. Nothing. We've had no substantial bounce came down. No substantial bounce likely going to come down. It's the same thing. We're in the exact same pattern except one level down. It's unbelievable that people can still think we're bullish here. But it actually drives me up a wall. Now, I mean, you can make this easier for yourself to see because you don't you don't have to use the wicks here, guys. It's the body. So we're in the four-hour time frame. Just use the wicks if you need to. But the body right here will give you everything you need to know on these continuations. Look at this. You can even come up here farther where this was at and say, okay, well, it came outside. That's how it should be. I mean, look how easy that is to diagnose this pattern. It was tight. Had a tiny fake out. This one, we haven't even had a fake out over the pattern top. It's been so easy. I don't know what else to say. You know, when it comes to these kind of patterns, we've had, we've been dealing with this over and over and over. And this one was the weakest continuation because we've already had three layers. Bam. 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 I mean, how much more obvious does this have to get? There's no upward pressure, ladies and gentlemen. None. There's absolutely zero pressure here. It's scary. Look at XRP. For all the, sh for everybody who's all excited about XRP right now, what is it giving us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's giving us nothing. Huge continuation. I mean, this would suggest that we're about to have a continuation of the downside. I mean, where are we gonna go? Here, 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 here. It's gonna be one of these huge drops. The first one's gonna come down to probably about 15 cents. We gotta break the 20 cent barrier, but I mean, these are realistic targets if you look at XRP for the grand scale. I can't help that XRP's been an extreme failure um, since 2017. It's been a disease, it's been a complete and utter disaster. Nothing short of spectacular in my opinion. I mean, look, it's crazy. But to me, yeah, like, like XRP said, two zero, uh, who said that? XRP two zero two two. They call it a disaster. I call it a one. Absolutely. JW, what's going on? Welcome in. And the Simpsons in the background as always. JW, absolutely fat bottom girls indeed. JW is one of the longest, long time, long times. Jurgen, welcome in. I didn't see you sneak in here. Welcome in, homie. Glad to have you in here. Jan Jan, hey, got a question when we... Do it our final bottom. How long will it last? It's gonna be a series of it's gonna be a series of events, but I think we're gonna have a sustained bottom. But it's it, it's gonna be different than everybody thinks. It's gonna be very volatile, and there's gonna be a lot of opportunity. But I think when we hit that initial like seven thousand area, sixty five hundred, we're gonna get about a fifty or a hundred percent bounce there to where we're gonna get back to about twelve five thirteen thousand, and then that's where we're gonna really realize if we can get back above that point. And hold it. That's when we're going to know how bad it's going to be. Unlocking Minds, thanks for subscribing at Tier 1 for your third month now. Holy schmagolies. And thank you, everybody, for the hype train. 610 bits. You guys are very generous. And Gales. Um, no problem. No problem at all. So, let me go back to this. So if you actually look at XRP and we start to microscope it a little bit, what's the big problem with XRP? Volume. Volume. It maintains volume. The biggest issue with my, for me with XRP is there's no institutional buyers. No matter how much everybody wants to claim there is, this volume portfolio doesn't suggest there's any kind of uh, huge breakouts coming. So when we were way back here, we had about $1 billion, right? $1 billion. We had some great, look at this difference in volume. One seven, two three, two four, three two seven, three point two eight billion. Billion. Now you're down here at three point one billion, three point two billion, three point one seven. But now we're starting to maintain volume when it's sell volume. That's a problem. 
If there was nobody to sell. Now my problem is, is what happens when we hit the consolidation zone? We haven't hit it yet. We're close. We got to get to this like between 17 and 23 cent area is basically what it comes down to. We've got to get into this range and tap into there. And on the daily time frame, let me throw on an indicator real quick so you guys can see something. The ribbons. So right now we're dangerously being rejected by the EMA ribbons. When you're below the ribbons for a sustained amount of time and can't get above them, it's very bearish. My one thing with all of these is can we get up here and at least retest this, uh, you know, old drop spot, which gets us up to the near 40 cent area, but it's so dangerous just to be like, hey, buy this, hold this, and we're going to get there eventually. We have a better chance of breaking down than breaking up. The longer this takes, especially through this week, we're going to have more Fed raising rates again, and they're talking about a 100 basis point rate hike this time. That's going to be unbelievable. So you're going to have some kind of market turmoil before then. I guarantee it. And then whether it's an over-aggressive sell-off or not is going to determine whether we have any kind of kickback. So these are the immediate short-term targets on a potential breakdown on a bearish continuation. First, we come to that 15.25 area. There's also the 18 cents, as you guys know very well. But I'm talking about the true drop from here. Obviously, if it goes up to higher than this, and we'd have to measure a drop by either the 100 or maybe around the 200. Then it's going to make the numbers look a lot different. And if we break up, this is what you guys need to see. If we break up here, which is very unlikely, but that would get us up into this range if you were to break up. So we'll see if we can break up. It's, it's the less likely of the two, but it's still only a, it's not a huge reach. Look at this. So drop, drop, back up on a fake out overall breakdown that's not uncommon for these patterns to trick people that's why i'm cautiously optimistic that we can break down and don't have to go the other route but if we do go this route i'm fine with it i'll long it at some point once we break out of this area and show the 20 day support it's fine i can live with it and then we'll come down i would rather just do this so i can start filling my long bags instead of having to fucking leverage trade it back up i don't want to do that i'd rather leverage it to the downside and then buy my long bags for the way up so it's a win-win. I'd rather not have to leverage up to short down to long hold up. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just go. Well, what's going to happen? Because it's crypto. You know? Instead of being like, oh, it's so easy. No, it's more like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Wait a minute. It can't go that way. Well, it's crypto. It can. Um, American Zebra. I made it. What have I missed? Hey, what's going on, my friend? I'm glad you're in here. You haven't missed a lot. I've been trying to... I tried to wait to cover XRP today. I went a little over Bitcoin. So you got to see the XRP coverage right away. So that's awesome. Ooh, the sausage. Eight pounds of sausage, JW, got eaten. I didn't even get any to save for after. So I'm very well. I surprised a lot of people that apparently still don't know I can cook. So, but hey... I love seeing that. Oh, the 20 days getting ready to kiss the 200. And uh, are you talking about in the, let's see. Ooh. Look how tight this is in the 20 minute. I mean, in the 30 minute. We've actually had a bearish cross here. This is good. If this can continue, we'll have an impulse move to the downside. That very well could show that this is the right shoulder. This is, these are the dangerous parts though at this part of the pattern. It really is. Because if it did manage to get out of here and retap this and then break down. But if you really look at it, what's, what are we really doing? Higher lows? Nah, not really. I mean, we're technically a That's a bearish formation. If this breaks up, we're fine. We know it's coming down after. That's a bearish formation right here. So, volume's decreasing. We're not having a lot of pressure. We are having some indicators start flashing here that are bearish. And I like to have the MA lines because technical traders don't understand how to draw patterns like I do. Which is fine. That's why you should be here watching me learn. But I'm saying from a technical trading standpoint, you get a lot of the traders that don't understand pattern formations. But they understand how to put on an EMA line or something. So I like to see where they're all sitting. So right now, I guarantee a lot of people are, if they're just technical traders on the four hour or on the daily, they're like, oh, we could be bullish. But... What I'm looking at is on the daily time frame, even it's telling us we got to come back down here to 3343. 
We put that target on there so we remember that. Watch this. Watch how easily we can form an opinion. 33, 4, 34, four hour time frame. We're trying to hold this. So we're having some kind of weird cross here, but this 200 day and this is all out of whack. So if you're asking me, we got an issue here. This is all out of whack. So we got to see in the immediate short term what's going to happen. So now you got to come down to the 30 minute. We're going to see what the 30 minute tells us because right now we're getting supported on the 20 day and the 200 day. But in the daily time frame, we're breaking down and it's showing us we might need to retest this for a layer of support. We don't know. So we start breaking it down a little bit more. Right now we're in the three hour. The two hour we broke through. See, that's good. We already see we're breaking down on the two hour, which means in the 45, we're back testing it as resistance right now. Look how these all start to play out. If you don't know how to trade, start looking at these. And on a breakdown on a bearish divergence or a bearish cross as we are about to have, where is the 20? So right now, if you're coming for a bearish divergence, the 20 should be on top, which is the red line. 50, orange line. The 100, light blue. 200, dark blue. And you want these to be organized. This is very organized right now. And then it came down. So it's set up for a drop. There's no inconsistencies here in the 45. How about the 30? The 30's already started. The, here, let me get rid of this. The 30's already started the bearish cross. So now the 30 started the bearish cross. Now let's, and this is a trick you can teach yourselves because in certain, look how in certain time frames it's not adding up. These are all crossed in weird ways, which to me tells me it might not be ready to have a huge breakout yet. We might have to consolidate in this area, let these work themselves out and separate a little bit more. Like that's a simple trading technique. What the hell is this? Simple, tra oh fucking Facebook, Jesus Christ. I sit, and I hardly ever go on there because it's turned into horror book now. Even the girls I went to high school with, when I look at the top, all they're doing, and you know, we're getting older now. But you see this, this is a simple trick. So now we're gonna see, if you get the ultimate rejection here on the 20 day, you oftentimes do push up to the 100 right there. This could be a fake out. This could be a huge fake out here. Let's see what the one minute says. Man, this is so, it's all tightened up. We're getting ready for a move. The three minute we're trying to start a bull. Look how tight it is in the shorter time frames to go up. Yeah, see, this is all setting up. It could be setting up for a drop here. We've got bitch slapped here in the last two 15 minute candles. It really got, that's not what we wanted. We. <clears throat> I would love to see this start. If this W plays out to the downside, this will come down to about 33.34. Almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. Let's see what XLM's doing. XLM's the one that we hit massive trades. 76%, 58%, 50 something percent, and 27% were my last two days of trades. And they're all on XLM. And I have to do it in USDT, unfortunately. But look at XLM. Look at XLM. Look at XLM. XLM's already started the 20 cross 50, 20 cross 100, about to cross 200. Where's XRP? XRP's way behind. Remember XLM was behind XRP, now it's ahead. Huh. That's very interesting. This is very interesting indeed. Oh yeah, you, you better believe it, JW. And you know what's funny? My 20 year high school reunion, and I've never gone to one, is this year, next month. And I'm considering going because a lot of the people that used to make fun of me for being fat are fat. And now I'm, you know, I've been in good shape since I was in my 20s. Um, and like now I'm still, everybody can't believe how I look. They don't recognize me. And I have all my hair, you know, and I'm aging gracefully because, you know, I'm Italian and Lebanese. So I want to go back and be like, you know, I, I wouldn't be a dick, but I just want to see all the people because I know some of them that used to make fun of me are bald. No offense to the bald people, um, but when they make fun of people, you know, you probably, 
you got to realize down the road in life, things aren't going to always shake out the way you want. And not having hair could be one of them. So you can't make fun of fat people because that might be your karma. Or like, I can't make fun of people for reasons because I might get my own karma. I don't like to make fun of people, but I think I was taught that early on in life because I used to get made fun of. But I was very, you know, I was, I was not only fat, I outgrew a lot of people in elementary and middle school because I got to six foot in like sixth grade or seventh grade and never grew another inch. It was crazy. I just stopped. And then I couldn't, you know, I was so fucked. I didn't know what was going on. Had a goatee in seventh grade. Oh, it was great. I had more facial hair than my teachers. True story. We sure do. We feel those aches a little bit more, but we do age gracefully. So, let's see. So, we went over XRP, went over XLM, went over Bitcoin. Now, we got to go over DGB. I want to see if we can get a market wide setup that we feel like this. The only problem I have is is this setting up a fake W or a real W reversal? So they're bearish. These are very bearish formations. This is a bearish formation right now. So, this could be the rejection point up here. This is the top of getting back into this zone to get into the wider ascending triangle. But we've had many, many times over with DGB where this has been the cutoff line. Look at this unbelievable, unbelievable pull up. I said yesterday I would have bought DGB if I could, but Bit got doesn't have it on the futures trading. Very disappointing. Because I knew there was going to be, I didn't know it was going to be that big. But look how far DGB had to come down now. In one day, or two days, look at that. What is that? Two, three days. No, two days. It's come down 17%. So look at how easily. Hey, watch this. Somebody puts in a short right here. Right? A great play. 7.71% down. But in a one or two minute candle, there was a ridiculous 11.44% spike that liquidated any and every short that was 6x or, or uh, higher, remember that. Any short that was about 6x or higher here got liquidated in that 30-minute span before a massive, beautiful move down to anybody who would have had that. 78% on any kind of uh, leverage. You're talking anywhere from 70 to five, 600%, depending on your leverage. But first, they liquidated everybody. Now, it always scares me is that we usually come back up to this number. If anybody pays attention, typically after a nice reversal to the pattern low, which happens to be right here now because we had a breakout, breakdown, breakup, consolidation, we came back down here and look what we actually did. And I like to see, son of a bitch. Where was that at? This is exactly where it was at, because that's I know exactly where it was at. That's it right there. Because it lined up perfectly with this side. That's why I did it. Ha, ah, feels good. So, I'm in the middle, guys. I'm in the middle. I don't know if this is a fake out or if in the immediate short term we're going to play back up. But I do know if this doesn't play up immediately in the next you know few hours, we could have a crash starting Monday morning. And I wish I could see what the U.S. dollar currency index was doing. Oh, yeah, we can actually. What am I talking about? It's back up. It's just uh, it's back online. So it looks like we're going to start to get a little bullish here in the U.S. dollar. We're on a rising channel. This is a rising channel right off the bat. So this is probably going to do this for a while all the way back up to here. And then you're going to create your bear flag. This is going to be a bear flag. And it will look something like this. So... Oh, shit. Are we going to have a huge bullish Gartley now? What if that is, what if that's what's happening? That would have constitute a bullish Gartley. Wow. I don't know where she's at. She is somewhere because uh, our type 1 diabetic. 15 year old she had a little pus come out of the site a little earlier so she we're dealing with a minor infection issue so with a small little bump so we had to get her some uh, stuff they would use at the hospital I had to go up to the pharmacy and uh, now we we're gonna we gotta see because tomorrow she's probably gonna have to go in and get it looked at maybe 
But she started working, the 15-year-old. She got her first paycheck last week on Friday. So, pretty cool. And then she starts driver's training next month. This is interesting. Is this a reversal candle? We're holding the 200 day. That's bullish. As long as you hold, I mean, in the immediate short term. Are we bullish right now in the U.S. dollar currency index? Because I keep saying I think we're going to have a capitulation style event that will get us up to 120. Here's the true uptrend. Man, this is crazy. All of these, all of these look terrible. Just terrible. JB, thanks for the follow. You're 473. Thank you for the follow and make sure you click on my Twitch homepage. Click on that YouTube partner link and join the almost 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're at like 11,800 and, and some spare change. Total crypto market cap. Look how perfectly it's playing this ascending triangle pattern. And it had some fake outs on, but it ultimately finished this pattern out. The problem I have here is this another like channel that's formed, like a rising channel. These are bearish reversals at the top. So, I don't know. We either have one big trap being set right now because of all the shit going on. Oh, we're going to have one last little push. But I thought the weekend was going to be the push, and we got to where I thought. We really did. No reason to complicate it, but look what's going on here. And I said if we could get up here, the targeted move from 1.058 trillion would be here. But we don't have to come up there, ladies and gentlemen. That was, that was okay, we're going to come up there. Do you guys know what happens if we don't come up there? It's the funny part. Let's say this was the top. Get you right to our... I extended that, I acknowledge. But you get you out into that area. So are we coming down to 658 or 561? Well, that'll be told whether we break down from here or up here. If we break down from up here, you come to that 658. If you break down from here, you come down to the 561. Julie? Oh, she's not over here. But right now, it looks like a bearish continuation pattern. That's about the, that's filled out as about as far as you can go now. It's got to make a move, and right now, it's it's a backwards. I always tell you when it looks like a backwards golf club, it's problems, or a flag upside down, a bear flag. You know, it's it's a bear flag. What does that mean? What is a bear? Flag. Could that be bearish? Minus? No. no. What do you guys think? It's 901. It's 901. How is it 901? I just logged on at 830 or 825. What the hell? Is it really 901? It went by that fast the last 35 minutes? Jesus, oh, I gotta go check on Julie. Holy schmuggle. And I agree, JW, there is no doubt about that. No doubt about that. There's no, so much stress I don't deal with that a lot of people do in relationships that, and I've done in past relationships. It's, uh, it's a blessing.
So the 15 year old's about to go to sleep because she's got to she's got to be at work at 8:15. I know it's, it's weird saying that. So this will be her second week. Okay. No, we need to, JW. We you need to email me. That's all we need to do. We need to have a combo, like, outside of crypto. All right, so that's what I'm looking at with the total crypto market cap. I apologize. I just had to go check on everything. And then Ethereum. Look at Ethereum Classic with their new... Uh, what they've been talking about, they had some kind of part. I'll go to it in the news. We'll talk about this in a sec. But I'm interested to hear from you guys. Do you think this is an indication of a pump that could be coming with? Or do you think that that was the catch up on Ethereum Classic to what just happened with Ethereum? Because to me, it feels like Ethereum would have got up to about 1792 on Ethereum Classic with where Ethereum went. But Ethereum has not had. Eh, yeah, because I don't see that extra extension. Because now, here's the thing with Ethereum: it's back testing this broken ascending triangle. It really is. So, if this holds this and breaks up, that would be very, very interesting. Because you would have a targeted move if this bull flag plays out. And let's just say we had a, we could even say, oh, we we impulse back down on accident. That's a 19% fucking wick when it came up. Holy smokes. So from here, on a breakup, that would get you to 1557. But let's say, let's just say we retrace. Let's just for the hell of it. We came back down here to where everybody likes to buy in. That gets you to 1516 area. That's on breakups, ladies and gentlemen. So... You know, not a breakdown that I guarantee this will correlate with what we've been talking about. Get you right back in the consolidation. If you're at the bottom of this descending triangle, to get you right down to 996. So it's all going to depend on which way we decide to go here. Pizza breath. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's 58 total to the channel. Oh my god. Nika 994. That's awesome. Bitcoin Cash, man, that is going to be tough. That is going to be tough. It's already in a tough spot, but if, if Bitcoin's around in any capacity, Bitcoin Cash will be around. Wait a minute, this is the wrong one, isn't it? Bitcoin Cash is not zero zero. That's compared to Bitcoin. Oh shit! See, to me, even if we continue up, doesn't it look like we want to come back down to consolidate? This looks like a perfect consolidation area. And Bitcoin Cash is fucked. This is so fucked. This is a short term uptrend, but other than that, it's looking like how. Gotta hold that uptrend. If you hold this uptrend, you see that huge W. There's no doubt that there's a W reversal trying to play out here. If we're, if we're acting like it's not there, that's a huge. And this thing has been through the turmoil. Look at this. That's an unbelievable drop. 
from April of this year, we're down 75.58%. you imagine if you're a long holder on here? Hey, just hold it. Just hold it. It's fine. Yeah, but I bought it at $1,600. Oh, it's fine. Just hold it. You're down 96%. Might as well hold it now. Happy Sunday to you, Mr. Crothers. Oh, yeah, it certainly does. <laughs> it looks just like GPL. Minus the mining collapse. At least GPL is an excuse. good I like that so you're trying to ride your way up to heaven the moment this rising channel breaks this uptrend unfortunately come back down to where the channel started but if you break up and play this W reversal out true to form to get you all the way up to here it could be a 25 30 dollar move to the top side so I definitely be watching out for that God, there's so much, there's still so much potential though. That's the problem. Look at XRP up to 35.39 now. So we were talking about if the W plays out, what happens? Ooh. Hold on. Is XLM behind now? If it pulls up? Would it come up here? Are we going to come up there again with XLM? If, if XRP just did this. Oops. Yeah, because we're proving that that was a fake out to the downside. At least in the very, very short. To, oh, shit. XLM went to 10.8. The yeah, XLM's definitely behind. I would have liked to have caught it when it was at the 10.6 range or 10.65 still. Because if these play to the top side, these will be nice moves up. 